Okay, we're going to start doing statistics now. And I want to talk about different types of variables in statistics. Now, that may seem like a bit of a fussy thing to go on about for a lesson, but it's very important later on when doing calculations and when drawing graphs. And because later on we get discrete random variables and continuous random variables. But we'll study all that later. This is just important to understand for what's to come later. So that's why we're studying it right now. Okay, so there's two main types of kind of variables we can get in statistics. Quali qualitative and quantitative. No qualitative variables don't have a numerical value. Quantitative variables do have numerical value. Discrete variables take values that go up in steps and continuous can take any value and it's a mesh it's Nine times out of ten, it's a measurement. For example, it could be length, weight, time, area, or volume of something. Right. So those are the different types of variables we get. So we've got some examples here. First example is the make of a car. Now because the make of a car isn't actual a number, it isn't a numerical value, so therefore it's this one here. In fact, wait a minute, I'll call this one. I'll call that two. And then I'll call that D. And I'll call that C. Just to save some writing. So the make of a car is qualitative. So put a one next to that. Right. Next one is the number of students in a class. Now because the number of students in a class isn't actually a measurement and it goes up in values, you could have one, two, three, four, five and so on students in a class you can't have something like three and a half that wouldn't work so this one is quantitative and discrete Okay, now we're going to look at some ones that may be a bit confusing to people. The first one we're going to look at shoe size. Sizes. Now, shoe sizes don't have to take an integer value, a positive number value. You could get something like three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, but you can't get something a shoe size like um like for example you don't get shoe sizes like that so therefore even though it doesn't take integer values it's still discrete and because they're measured in numbers it's obviously this type of variable here, just that. this type, and it's discrete, as I've just explained to you. Right, next one's going to be price of a chocolate bar. Okay, so you can get chocolate bars at different prices. Like, for example, you can take decimal values. 
You might see a chocolate bar that costs something like, doesn't matter if this is realistic or not, something like £3.99 or £4.26. But you don't get chocolate bars that cost something like um, It's to the nearest penny. So we only have two decimal places for the price of something. So therefore, it's discreet. Ages of students in years. Right, years can take a value of an only take a value of a number and to take new years are numerical values so therefore it is a one of this type so I can put a two there and let's rub some of this out here more room Because it's, it can only take a number like one, two, three, four, and so on. It's discrete. However, age can basically be a measure of time. Like if you go into more detail with months, days, hours minutes and seconds because it's a time measurement it can also in that case would be treated as continuous so it's important to understand that right last one is the height of a child now because height can take any value Like, you can get heights like, oops, three meters, two meters, 1.234567.62 meters. And it can take any value at all because it's a measurement. And the easiest way to picture this is I can draw a line here and I can represent numbers here and you can see there's gaps but if I put in more numbers there's less gaps so and then pi and irrational numbers would come somewhere on there so that means that a, a ruler can take any value, but you can certainly only measure it to a certain value because otherwise you'd need a microscope to see numbers that are smaller than millimetres. So, yeah. This is a continuous one. Okay, so that's about the different types of variables we're getting statistics, and the, these are the definitions here, and we did some examples. The first two were straightforward, the last four ones that people might find quite confusing. So, yeah, that's basically the most important basic part of statistics for when we'll go on to do things later on and if you've got any questions you can just leave them on the video